Crawling babies can get their fingers into all kinds of places in your home. If they put their fingers into electric sockets or appliances, such as hair dryers or phone chargers, it's possible for your baby to get an electric shock. This can be very serious. If your baby has had an electric shock, you might see some of these signs. They may have burns, blistered or charred skin. They may have pain or weakness. An electric shock can make your baby unresponsive. If you think your baby has had an electric shock, you'll need to do a baby primary survey. If your baby is still in contact with the electrical current, turn the power off if you can, or use something non-metallic to break the contact, like a rolled up magazine or a wooden spoon. Try to see if your baby responds to you by gently tapping or flicking the sole of their foot and call their name. They are unresponsive if they don't respond to you. Martha, can you hear me? Next, you will need to check if they are breathing. To check for normal breathing, open the airway. Place one hand on your baby's forehead and very gently tilt their head back. With one finger, gently lift the chin to open the airway and check to see if they're breathing. If your baby is breathing, put them into the recovery position. Cradle the baby in your arms with their head tilted downwards. If your baby has suffered an electric shock and has stopped breathing, you need to start baby CPR. This technique is for use on babies under one year old. Call for help. Ask a helper to call 999 or 112 for emergency help. Use a mobile speakerphone if you're on your own so you can start CPR as soon as possible. If you're on your own and you don't have a speakerphone, you need to do CPR for a minute before you can call for help. Place them on a firm surface and open their airway. With one hand on the forehead, gently tilt their head back with your fingertip, gently lift the chin to open the airway. Pick out any visible obstructions from the mouth and nose. Step one is puff. Take a breath, put your lips around your baby's mouth and nose and make a seal. Blow gently and steadily for up to one second. The chest should rise. Remove your mouth and watch the chest fall. That's one rescue breath or puff. Do this five times. Step two is pump or chest compressions. Put two fingers in the center of your baby's chest and push down a third of the depth of the chest. Release the pressure, allowing the chest to come back up before pressing back down again. Repeat this 30 times at a rate of 100 to 120 pumps per minute. This is quite quick. After 30 chest pumps, open the airway and give a further two puffs. Continue to alternate between 30 chest pumps and two puffs. If you're on your own and don't have a speakerphone, stop after one minute and call 999 or 112 for emergency help. If a mobile phone is not available and you have to move to get to a telephone, take the baby with you. Keep repeating 30 pumps, then two puffs until help arrives or they become responsive. You may also need to treat burns, move them away from the source of heat, cool the burn or scald by running it under cold water for at least 10 minutes. Don't use ice, gels or creams on the area. They can damage the affected skin and increase the risk of infection. Remove the clothing from around the burn. If the clothing is stuck to the skin, don't try to remove it. Cover the burn with cling film or a clean plastic bag. This protects it from infection. Serious burns or skulls need emergency treatment, so call 999 or 112. While you wait for the ambulance, treat your baby for shock if necessary. So remember, break contact with the electrical current with something non-metallic. Check if they're responding and breathing. If your baby is breathing, then put them into the recovery position and call for help. If your baby is not breathing, start baby CPR. You may also need to treat burns, so cool the burn with cold water, remove your baby's clothing unless it's stuck to the burn, and cover the burn with cling film or a clean plastic bag. And that's how you treat a baby who has been electrocuted. Thanks for watching. Help support St John Ambulance. Donate today.